Hello and welcome to I'd Rather Be Flying or my other YouTube channel Matthew Lawrence. I'm going to upload this to both channels at the same time. Now I'll take them off so I can hear. Um, this, this video obviously I can't be re in a real aeroplane because of Covid. Oh it's just a green screen. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, I've uploaded this to both channels at once because this is kind of relevant to both channels so I've got two channels uh, rather be flying, which is all about my flying, and I fly a PA28 and a 152, and Matthew Lawrence, which is all about an ele electronics. So I'm doing electronics based on flying today, and in the current situation of COVID. Oh, by the way, I'll put something interesting up behind me, like a duck or something, I don't know. Whatever appears there, appears there. We've just had news today of the latest government announcement of the UK, which seems to be allowing general aviation to start up again. So, in light of that, and to improve my videos that I'm going to be uploading to rather be flying, I've got some new equipment, but there is an issue, so I'll show you on the bench. So this mass of wires is what will help me uh, improve my uh, audio quality. So what we have here, this is specifically designed for aircraft. Let me just untangle a bit of it. You may recognise these as being your standard uh, phono jacks for headphones. So you've got your aircraft standard connectors. This is the headset size. This is what you hear. This end plugs into the aircraft, this end plugs into your headset, and this goes into a breakout box. And this breakout box, at one end, you have a USB cable to power it, so I'll be using a power bank to power it in the aircraft. And the other side, you have a GoPro adapter. I don't have a GoPro, I'll use a dictaphone to record it, and a 3.5mm jack. Now, this dictaphone. There's a three pole socket for the microphone. This is a four pole socket. So, what you have here, I'll just get my pointy screwdriver. You've got ground, left and right stereo outputs, and the mic output. Now, this records on, is expecting a cable like this, and it's meant to record audio, so it records ground, left and right stereo. So, even though this cable is outputting on the mic channel here in the dictaphone it's actually just shorting that to ground so it doesn't work so what I've got is another cable this one which is just a four pole extension cable so it's a four pole socket to a four pole uh, socket four, um, four pole male to four pole female that's the right words so I'm going to cut that cable up and change the mic input from this end into left and right stereo audio on the other end. Yeah, simple. I think I've explained that. So this is the cable I'm going to cut up and this was only £4. Hence I don't mind cutting up. The other cable, because it's in an aircraft and because it's aircraft pricing, it was 59 quid. So that's quite expensive. Um, yeah, this is, I say, it's a four pole adapter, um, extension lead. It's about a metre in length. Uh, and like I say, it's ground, so it's mic, ground, left and right stereos. So what I'm going to do is cut it, see what the cables are like inside and then try and splice it together to give me no mic but move the mic from there to the stereo channels. Right, so I cut a length of these, so I want to keep them long enough to make a mistake but not so long that they get in the way in the aircraft. So that will do. Bear in mind these will be attached together like that, so it will be that length of cable. So all I've got to do now is strip it and measure it. So that's lucky, as we've got a wire for each pole. So all we need to do is strip them, buzz them and then solder them together in a different order. And this is the female side, and again you can see four cables, as you would expect. Right, so that's all cables stripped. Now what I'm going to do is plug them in together, like that. Uh, now what I'm going to do first, that's not what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is buzz out the poles on the jack with the cables, so I know what colour represents what pole. So black should be ground. 
it's not. Black is nothing. Why is black nothing? What's going on? Hello, black is the tip. Okay. Brown is Mike. Red is ground, obviously. And orange should be the other stereo channel. Okay, so I've connected the two reds together. From the plug end, the audio is coming in. So the audio is coming in on the brown cable, which is the mic. And we want it to go to the two stock stereo outputs, which is the orange and the black cable. So all we've got to do is twist them together and twist together that with the brown. We can solder this together, cover it in heat shrink, and then it'll be done. So we can ignore them two cables, we'll cut them off. So we've got socket end, two reds because they're ground, brown coming out, going into the yet orange and the black, which are the two stereo output inputs or outputs, into the plug. And the plugs was going to plug into the dictaphone, so that's to be left and right channels. Simple. I'll get the soldering iron and we'll start soldering. And that was it, that's all the soldering required. All I'm going to do now is put a bit of tape around here and a bit of heat shrink to keep it isolated and then this is good enough to go. And there we go, so that's the extension cable. So this end will plug into the microphone input on the dictaphone. That end will plug into the new cable that plugs into the aircraft. So we should be able to then record audio from the aircraft. And if this works in my next or other be flying video, you should see, or hear, uh, audio as well as um, the video as well and uh, if you like this video it's been posted on both both my youtube channels so if you are interested in the other one please subscribe and uh, hopefully i'll see you uh, real soon for either electronics or hopefully even better some flying videos so uh see you later stay safe and goodbye